Morning prayer on Wednesday the 4th of May, when we remember the English saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all, in living he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead for the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 105 O oh, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises and tell of all his marvellous works. Rejoice in the praise of his holy name, let the hearts of them rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, remember the marvels the Lord has done. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise that he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying to you, I will give you the land of Canaan, to be the portion of your inheritance. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When they were but few in number, of little account, and sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no one to do them wrong, and rebuked even kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and to do my prophets no harm. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he called down famine over the land and broke every staff of bread. But he had sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They shackled his feet with fetters, his neck was ringed with iron. Until all he foretold came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of people set him free. He appointed him lord of his household and ruler of all he possessed, to instruct his princes as he willed, and to teach his counsellors wisdom. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then Israel came into Egypt. Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. And so the Lord made his people exceedingly fruitful. He made them too many for their adversaries, whose heart he turned so that they hated his people and dealt craftily with his servants. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then sent he Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. He showed his signs through their word, and his wonders he did in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and it grew dark, yet they did not heed his words. He turned their waters into blood, and slew all their fish. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in their king's chamber. He spoke to the 
He spoke the word, and there came clouds of flies, swarms of gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones of rain, and flames of lightning in their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees, and shattered trees across their country. He spoke the word, and the grasshoppers came, and young locusts without number. They ate every plant in their land, and devoured the fruit of their soil. He smote all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their strength. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Then he brought them out with silver and gold. There was not one among the tribes that stumbled. Egypt was glad at their departing, for a dread of them had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to light up the night. They asked, and he brought to them quails. He satisfied them with the bread of heaven. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out, and ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy word, and Abraham his servant. So he brought forth his people with joy, his chosen ones with singing. He gave them the land of the nations, and they took possession of the fruit of their toil, that they might keep his statutes and faithfully observe his laws. Alleluia. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. God of our earthly pilgrimage, feed your Easter people with the bread of heaven, that we may hunger and thirst for righteousness until we reach our promised land, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O God, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. The blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed, and by your invincible strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of St Luke, chapter 1. In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud through the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her for about three months, and then returned to her home. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound, and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. 
through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. We now come to our time of prayer, where we'll take a minute of silence to think about all those things that are on our hearts, the concerns of our community of society, of our church, of our own friends and loved ones, and ask for God's peace and healing to be in all those situations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, who, when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land who witnessed to their faith with courage and constancy, give to your church that peace which is your will, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven, and share together the vision of your glory, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.